Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Little Bits. Today we've got another unboxing with three unopened calculators and a CBL2 calculator based laboratory version 2. This one is actually sealed in box and I specifically avoided doing a lot of research on this because I wanted to be surprised uh, by what's in there. I know a little bit about them. They are used to collect data for mathematical analysis. Uh, for the calculators today, we have an HP 39G, we have a TI-83 Plus Silver Edition, and we have an original TI-89, not the Titanium Edition. These are kind of backups for the ones I have now. This one is a just a, it was real inexpensive. I saw it on eBay, going for cheap, I could not believe the condition it was in, and I snapped it up. I figured, hey, I'll do an unboxing video. So that's that worked out for me. Now, there are some caveats with these. Uh, this calculator actually went for a lot cheaper. I normally wouldn't have got this new inbox like this, but this went for cheaper than it would have because these batteries have absolutely leaked everywhere, all over everything. You can see that it's coating the inside of the plastic. There's little bits of, I guess, whatever alkaline batteries leak. I don't know the chemical name uh, of, of what that stuff is, but we're gonna have to, even though this is a brand new calculator, we're gonna have to clean it up a little bit when it comes out of there, but it should work just fine. Um, there are some interesting things to say about each of these. I did do a little bit of preliminary research on some of these. Um, the 39G Plus is actually same basic hardware internally when it comes to the CPU and the RAM as far as I can tell as the HP 50. This is a slightly older model. It's got the more modern kind of look. I think one of the things that's missing from this that's on the HP 50 is uh, a CAS, a computer algebraic system. I don't think this has one. At least the documentation I've seen so far does not mention one. And for the 50G, the CAS is a big selling point, but this is an ARM9 processor at 75 megahertz, which is the same. Um, I think I will do a teardown of both this calculator and the 50G in the future and compare their internals. The 83 plus silver edition actually comes with a silver link cable which um, you can see this calculator actually says, oh, buy a TI connectivity kit, and it shows the Silverlink cable here, but we've got one here, and I actually already have one of these. It's what I use to do most of my interfacing with my calculators, but uh, it's nice to have a backup. So um, the 89, I want a newer one. I'm gonna open up my refurbished one and take a look at it. I might do some things with soldering irons in there. So the same is also true for the 83 plus. So I do want uh, some fresh examples of these models in case I damage the ones I have. Uh, and of course the CBL2. So uh, this I won't be able to say a whole lot about um, until I get the documentation out and we will save a deep dive exploration for another video dedicated to it. All right, with that, let's get started. So here we have the TI-89. This box was pretty pristine with the exception of the battery compartments. These seem to have split open some time ago and somebody taped them back shut. Fortunately, the batteries were still in it and we'll use these today um, to fire up the calculators that need them. Fortunately, they did not explode, <laughs> leak all over the place like the, like the last ones. I'm not sure why they leak like that, but I believe it has something to do with the fact that they're dead. Um, I need to do more research on that. I don't understand batteries as much as I would like yet. So this actually looks like it just opens. Look at that. I don't see necessarily. Yeah, that might be sealed. Do we need the scissors? I believe we do. Okay. Oop. Oh, camera. Whoop. 
Why do you get bumped so easily? I seem to inanimate objects as well as animate objects. Boom. Bickety bam. Are we in? This has a full manual. This has the actual, like, complete manual. It's probably for the TI-89 slash 92 plus. And it may even have slash V200 on it, but I think that that's actually the manual that comes with the TI-89 or the V200. So far, I like this package. It seems like fairly easy to get into, but also not to steal from the design. Connector cable, calcu, calculator right there. Ooh, it's light. Bye. A connector cable. We've got yeah, 8992 plus. Same basic software package on them. Uh, nice little fresh CD. I am going to get this. You will see me using it. This keyboard. Um, you can find them fairly easily at decent prices, so you will see that on this channel at some point. Uh, hopefully I can type in Dvorak on it because I don't actually touch type in QWERTY, but let's get this sucker turned on. Get these little unsightables out of sight. Ooh, nice firm grip on that. Ooh, look, ooh, man, it's been a while since I've seen these on my 89. They wore off some time ago. It's nice and fresh. I love it. carve my name into it real quick. Ooh, those batteries must be fresh. Oh yeah, it's this. Is it? Oh yeah, it's this. Okay. Ooh, ooh. set up. I don't remember this. English. Oh, license agreements. Um, yeah, so we got license agreements. I cannot read that from here. Oh, select additional languages from the next screen. Wow, that's cool. No, I just need English. But that's cool. It supports three languages. I love that. And you can select multiples, so you don't have to just pick one if, if you need more than one. All righty. I think that's the garbage collection. It's clearing out the, the ROM. I may be wrong about that. Interesting. Brand new, fresh. Let's see. Where is your about info? About. We are looking at version 2.0.0 of the firmware. Oh, software version. Hardware version is 2.0.0, software version is 2.0.5. Very interesting. Um, take a look at what that means for us in future episodes when we do deep dives into TI-89s. All right, let's move on to the next device. Here we have the HP 39G+. I mainly got this just because it was in such good condition good condition and was it was like thirty five forty dollars something like that so um, I just couldn't pass it up otherwise I don't have a whole great deal of interest in this particular model 
but it will serve as a useful reference to, oh, hey, look at that. Wow, unboxing complete, done. We finished. Wow. So that was easy to get into. All right, well, let's take a look at what we got here. This is just a USB-A to USB-A mini, not micro, software. A full manual, that's nice, user's guide. It was not in any way open when I received it, so I'm a little surprised that all it took was a tiny bit of prompting to pop open like that, but, you know, not gonna complain too much. It's got batteries in it, so this is an open box. This has been opened before. Wow. Well, this was sold to me as a new calculator. That explains why it was so inexpensive. It's like new, but you can see a finger mark here and it's got batteries in it, which um, are dead. So it is a used calculator. Oh well, still, still fun to have. Beep boop, it's got sounds. Low battery warning. These are the same batteries that seem to not have any trouble on the other one. Function, rad, wow, this screen is very unfamiliar to me. So that doesn't necessarily look anything like the starting screen of a 50G. So these calculators are a lot more different than I think I initially assumed, at least on the software side, but we'll see what they look like on the hardware side in the future. This is sealed still. So whoever used it or put batteries in it did not open the manual. A lot of information in here. Well, I'll be looking at this, so I'll figure out a little more about how to get some use out of this and hopefully hack it, homebrew it, and make it special. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Uh, we'll see if there's any surprises for us there as well. On to the TI-83 Plus Silver Edition, and you can see I have some cleaning supplies for this one. Um, this seems to be sealed. Okay, this is sold new in box. Yeah, it's got its problems, but it's actually new in box, so at least there's that. Boop, 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 boop. This is a nice non-fighty one as well. Wow, that flew way off into the distance and bounced around. Whatever it was, I think it was just a tiny piece of plastic. I'm free, I'm a piece of plastic, I'm free. All right, let's see how badly filthified this is on the inside. Ooh, here's our cable. It does not look as though there's any, um, gunk on it that's cool you guys went fancy with the box it snakes around that's that's neat 
you can see this cable is pretty, there's a lot of length to work with here. There's a little circuit board on the inside there. Um, now that I have a spare one, I might open it up and take a look at what chips are on that. It doesn't look like a lot of that gunk got on this book either. There's more software. Let's see if that, yeah. Ooh, she's coming for you. She's going to come get you guys. Let's turn this one over so she's not staring at us the whole time. Like, like with the 89. Um, let's move that. That's nice. That's not the full booklet. One of the very interesting things about the 83 plus silver edition is that when it was released with the SDK that you could get for it at the time, there was a freeware signing key, they called it, which gave you the ability to sign software that you create with the SDK such that it can be installed as an application, as like an officially signed application. on Instead of just like installing a program into ROM like you might normally do, it would show up in like the apps directory. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now you cannot really get the SDK anymore. In fact, I, before doing this unboxing, I knew I wanted to get a hold of the SDK. And so I did a, a request with TI. I sent them an email and asked them, you know, Hey, I'm interested in the SDKs, the official SDKs for this particular set of legacy calculator models to include this one and the 89 and the, um, the 84 plus as well. So hopefully they get back to me and maybe I can even get a hold of those. I've never had them before. And it, it actually looks like none of this gunk got on the calculator at all. It seems like it was just on the plastic here. It actually, this in fact isn't even gunk what I thought it was. This is on the outside. This is sticker glue. So there was a sticker here before. So the bulk of the battery leakage left everything but this bit of cardboard untouched, uh, which is very good to see. I'm very happy with that. So good surprises this time. Now let's fire this one up. I don't even need my cleaning supplies. I can save them for more important tasks. Of course I will be washing my hands thoroughly in between each of these. Not that I'm, I've am i gone anywhere, but these were delivered to my home. Uh, I'm sure they're safe though. They haven't been opened in some time. Um, all right. One thing I noticed with my previous model that I showed in my collection, because uh, I have one of these already, and if you've seen my collection video to date, I was very excited about this calculator, and uh, what I've noticed since then is that gunk does get inside of this thing. There's a hole right here, and there's dust and gunk on the inside of my other one, so I want to open it up and clean it out and examine it for other reasons as well, but uh, yeah, that's something to be aware of if you're interested in one of these clear plastic ones is you may have to open it and clean it, or it might get kind of grimy and gunky. Ooh, this doesn't want to go on. Am I doing it wrong? No, it's just brand new, so. Wow, okay. 1.15, I think that's the latest revision of the software for this model. Yeah, I believe so. Um, all right, well, we've got a nice little calculator and these ones have a lot of memory. A lot of archive memory anyway. Um, actually, these ones come with the CBL, CBR software built into it. So there are things I can do with the CBL we're about to unbox right away with these models. All right, that is all I got for this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, time for the CBL2, the calculator-based laboratory version two. This is actually a device that is 
made by Vernier, and they have another device that's very similar to this called the Datamate. The Datamate, as I understand it, is different in that it has six channels for sensor input, and this one has four channels for sensor input. I know I said I didn't do a lot of research on this, but I, I just did a little bit uh, before I sat down for this part of the video. Now, that's exciting because what that means is that we can probably use this tool to gather sensor data for more than just the Texas Instruments calculators, even though it's a Texas Instruments branded device. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Ooh, snap. This supposedly came from a school and just was never used. And, you know, they were getting rid of old equipment. I've never seen one of these in person before. Resource CD, more software. Now, the thing is, um, I only have one computer that has a CD-ROM drive, so we're going to be using that one. It's an older one. It is the only Windows machine I have. Um, you will see on this channel that I use Windows, Linux, and Mac, mostly Linux, but you'll probably see Mac the most because I use filming. I use it for filming. Um, wow, it's it'll work. The calculator just attaches to it. Nice big guide. Stay open. Starting. A lot of a lot of good information. It looks like very excited about quality documentation. That's a big part of. Uh, oh, let's hope these didn't leak. Okay, these are these are double A's. So the device takes double A's. It looks like they're not leaky. Some sensors. Wow, these are high quality looking sensors. I'm not sure what they all are though. This looks like probes for electrical signals. That's pretty interesting if that's the case. Take all those out. I'm really not sure what this one is. We'll have to check the documentation. Uh, regular cable, we have so many of these at this point, right guys? Um, which is which? What's, this is the cradle, I believe. Take a look at, yeah, this holds the calculator. And this should work for any of my calculators, including possibly my non-Texas Instruments calculators, since it is basically a Texas Instruments branded Vernier Datamate. And let's close this box up a little bit. Here's the actual unit. It's also very light, it's surprisingly light. So input digital sonic, some button here. It's got a stand. This is a rather hefty device, but it is really lightweight without the batteries in it. Three channels, I guess this is the fourth channel. Oh, it can take a six volt input I'm not sure what kind of connector that is. There doesn't seem to be a cable to go in there. Ooh, careful now. Careful now. Watch out. All right, let's do, yeah. I have a lot of um, nickel metal hydride double A's available right now, so I will replace these at some point. Well, that's all I got. I can't, there's no real screen to turn it on. Um, I'm not really gonna plug it into anything yet. Ooh, music. Boop, boop, beep, 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 boop. Let's hear that again. Can you play that again for us? One more time, Joe. Jonathan, Johansson. No, I guess not. Uh, it's probably just still on. All right. We will do some data collection stuff with this. I am going to take time to get familiar with the software, get familiar with how to use it, uh, and really start doing some data, data analysis work with it. 
Uh, and I'll figure out how to attach stuff to it for sure. That's a that's a for sure situation. It looks like oh, it looks like it slides in. Yeah, neat, neat. Let's take a look at what it looks like with a calculator in it. It says like this. Wow. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it'll work with the slide on. <laughs> that slide is grippy. No, that's a no. That it, that's not going to fit. All right. Well, that, that answers that question. So, yeah. We will explore this as well in future episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, guys and gals, and everyone in between. Um, we will see you all next time, and hopefully we'll have some good educational videos coming up that actually explore some of the software tools that I use to work with these. All right, have a great day, y'all.